They've been changing our world, especially during the pandemic. But today was one of the few times that we've been able to get inside and see their work in action. WMAR 2 News Jeff Hager takes us to the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab in Howard County with the work they're doing to improve all of our lives. The Cutting Edge Research Center has more than 1,200 ongoing projects, some which have helped us find a way through the ongoing pandemic. On its face, it's just a giant structure, but inside the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab's new Building 201, you may encounter a molecular biologist who's helping to crack the code on COVID-19. The availability of this sequence has allowed us to really understand how to treat the virus. Or the brilliant minds behind the global database, which is tracking the virus on a singular dashboard unlike any we've ever seen. We have a remarkable team where I can be confident to, when people ask me, what would you do? Would you go on vacation here? Would you travel to see this family member? I always refer them to the dashboard. With a new building providing an additional quarter of a million square feet of space, Governor Larry Hogan says the sky is the limit for the applied physics lab. Well, this is an amazing facility doing uh, in incredible things in many different fields, but one of the things that we, uh, that we toured today was some of the uh, work that they've been doing on COVID, and uh, particularly with respect to sequencing. Um, and, uh, you know, that, that's something that Maryland is leading the nation in. While the facility is exploring everything from artificial intelligence and planetary defense to climate change and space exploration, it is also taking a leading role in addressing the pandemic, which challenges us today and planning for any others in our tomorrow. There are a number of silver linings of COVID, and I think you know we uh, have learned so much more that will help prepare us for the future. Researchers here also work with the likes of NASA, the U.S. Navy, and even the Defense Department on state-of-the-art projects outside the public's eye. Reporting in Howard County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.